Hey YouTube, welcome back to a brand new video. Unfortunately, no Animal Crossing news this week, so I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. I'm going to answer the number one question that you guys ask, and that's how do I record my 3DS without a capture card? So it's going to be a basic how-to tutorial style video where I go through all the steps I take to record my gameplay. So if, like me, you can't justify spending a lot of money on a capture card, you can see how it's possible without one. So without further ado, let's get straight into today's video. This is a video I've wanted to make for some time now because for ages I myself couldn't find a good way to record my 3DS so it was a case of trial and error and solving one problem at a time until I had a reasonable working solution. And seems you guys often ask how I do it and I'm finally happy with my setup, I feel confident enough to share with you just how I record my 3DS without a capture card. Of course this is just the way I have developed, I'm sure a lot could be changed depending on the equipment you have but it's pretty quick to set up and it works for me, so here we go. Firstly, you will need the following items or something similar that gets the job done. Of course, you will need a 3DS, a computer or laptop, a smartphone or camera, a stand for your 3DS, a stand for your phone, a USB cable, and an AUX audio cable. Now, once you have these items, you're pretty much good to go. Firstly, open your laptop so it's ready because this is where you're going to capture your footage. Then place your 3DS on the stand and boot up your favourite game. Place the stand with your smartphone in front of your 3DS and aim it to the 3DS screen. Take your USB cable and plug your smartphone into your laptop. Take your AUX cable and plug one end into the 3DS headphone jack and the other into an audio input on your laptop. Now you have the basic setup ready to capture your gameplay. Now I'm going to show you the settings I use to get the clearest picture. Firstly, make sure the room you are recording in is as dark as possible. And on your smartphone, open camera and head to the time lapse option. And you will want to manually lock the exposure and focus by holding onto the screen and setting the AE AF lock. This is just to stop the camera refocusing or losing exposure while you're recording. You can then adjust the brightness accordingly using the slide bar. For the best results, tap and hold outside the 3DS screen because eventually you're going to want to crop this footage so you don't want anything in the way of the screen. Now the camera is all set up. On your laptop, open QuickTime Player, select File, New Movie Recording, then make sure you select your device from the camera options and the Line In from your microphone options. This is how you will make sure you capture the audio as well as the gameplay. Do a final check to make sure you're happy with everything that you're seeing on your computer screen and then you can press record. If you're wondering why I don't just record straight to my phone, that's because we would lose the game audio and the file size would be huge. And also doing it this way gives you the option to open a second audio recording software and plug in a USB mic to record a voiceover if you want to do it all at the same time. Now simply press record on your laptop and play your favorite game. When you've finished, stop recording and save the file. At this stage, you'll have all your game footage and game audio in one file, saved, ready to start editing. Now I'll quickly show you how you can take this video and make it look presentable. It's pretty simple, all you need is a backdrop image like this and some video editing software. Open your video editing software and drag in your backdrop. Then drag in your gameplay file so it's layered above the backdrop. Now all you need to do is crop the gameplay footage down so all you see is the 3DS screen. We can get rid of everything else that was recorded around the 3DS. Then just place the 3DS screen into position on your backdrop and you're done. At this stage you can add a voiceover or drag in the Let's Play Talk if you recorded it at the same time in an extra layer or add anything extra that you want, then render. So yeah. The final render will look something like this, the quality is pretty good and you haven't had to buy an expensive capture card, so what's not to like? Hopefully this video helps you and answers some of your questions and shows you the rough steps you need to take to record your own 3DS. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. If you got this far, please comment 3DS just to let me know you did. That would be super awesome. And be sure to include any ways you record your 3DS or if you're going to try this, I would love to know. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. Please be sure to leave a like if you did. Thanks for watching. I hope you have an amazing day and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.